gamers! Hey, once again, thanks again for tuning in to the Game of Rebirth DL channel. So what do we have today? Today we're going to move PlayStation 4 games to an external hard drive or USB. Now this is for PS4 Exploit 5.05 and it's the app to USB. Now we will also get some tools so that we can recognize what ID number our game has. So as you guys can see, I have a package named The Amazing Spider-Man. Now this is eight gigabytes in weight, so I don't really know what the ID is for that game. Now the tool from Leecherman will assist us, which is pretty cool. I'll go and leave the link in the description. Okay, so we connect our USB or external hard drive. Now you can have stuff on your USB. I don't have anything because I just delete everything out of it. Now we will need to create a folder called PS4. Make sure everything is in capital letters. Okay, that's all we need. So you might have a lot of other packages or stuff in your USB, but just make sure you have that folder called PS4. Now I'm going to transfer my package to the root of my external hard drive. Now a good website to go, GBA Temp. There's a lot of information in here. I suggest that you can read it. Also, the Al Asif DNS. Now, I would recommend this method too, as it will give you all the payloads or all the information so that you need from your PlayStation 4 to launch the exploit. I know that on my previous videos, I showed you from the PC, but this method also is efficient. So I would recommend it if you guys are following my tutorials. You guys can go ahead and move forward with this DNS, which is amazing. Is up to date so we go to network we're going to set up an internet connection so we set up internet connection use Wi-Fi I'm using Wi-Fi in this case I'm going to select custom okay so I'm gonna select my network okay now for the IP address we select automatic the HCP hostname do not specify DNS settings we're gonna select manual now primary DNS you guys can see my PC IP address I'm going to change that to 165-227-83145 for the primary DNS and we click done on the secondary DNS we're going to input 108.61.128.1 and then we select done okay we select next MTU settings automatic proxy server do not use and then we test internet connection so internet connection failed that's good we don't need to be connected to the internet okay so once that has been set up we go to the user guide and helpful info and then we select user guide and look at that guys we have the exploit information from Al Asif now you guys can see that there's more options in this case we're going to select hen once we run the exploit it'll give us the same information that is going to be done and welcome to ps4 hen version 1.6 which is pretty cool that's what we need okay so now we go to gba temp website and now what we're going to search for is the hard drive or external hard drive and now you guys can see some information move games to external hard drive now by stooge the app to USB which is amazing now it gives you a link but that one says it's outdated so I'm gonna give you the one in the description that is most recent this is the latest so now we're going to download the app to USB zip file It'll download fairly quick. Okay, so then we're going to get also the package viewer from Leecherman. Now it's pretty cool so it can give us more information about the games. Maybe modify some games in the future. But so we download those two tools. Okay, so now we're going to run the app to USB payload and then we're going to transfer the games to the external hard drive. We're going to edit the dot INI file or initiation file I believe and it is okay to not delete the games from the internal hard drive from the PlayStation 4 
because that will be the connection link to your external hard drive so you guys can see I have my game in there now I'm going to open up the zip folder now we have our folder that we created earlier ps4 and then we're just going to drag the app to usb.ini file okay cool so now we're going to modify it so we're going to edit and you can open this with notepad you guys will see some information okay so we're going to target this area to use this list as list of games you want to move not ignore then uncomment the line below so what that means if you remove those two backward slashes then we only transfer the games that we specify if we leave them on then it'll transfer everything to the external hard drive now since I didn't know what title ID it was so I opened PS4 package viewer and then just drag the amazing spider-man game to the tool and then as you guys can see there it is my game ID so then I'm just going to copy it and then paste it you will need to know the game ID so that it can recognize the PlayStation 4 to transfer the game to the USB or external hard drive so uh, since I don't want to transfer anything else and then we're just going to save okay so now we're ready to go you guys can see that my .ini file has been edited I removed the two lines because I want to specify only that I want that game to be transferred. Remember if you put the two lines then everything else will be transferred. Okay so now we are going to connect our USB on the right hand side of the PlayStation 4. So we go to debug settings, we go to game, go to package installer and then you guys can see the amazing Spider-Man. So now this might take long it depends on the size and weight of your game so now the game is technically ready to use it's playable which is pretty cool okay so now you guys can see that the game will launch normally because it's installed in the PlayStation 4's internal hard drive just wanted to give you guys a quick example okay so now we're going to close the application Okay, and then we're going to go to settings user guide helpful info and then user guide we select our version 5.05 now we're going to select app to USB payload okay so now it's going to run it and it's going to give you a warning that it will modify the file system on your PS4 and then less warning unplug your USB drive to cancel this and then it'll copy the application to USB O so nothing is wrong with doing this it's just transferring your games to your external drive worst comes to worst you can reinstall the game on your internal PS4 hard drive which is pretty good just depends what preference you want you either want it on the PlayStation 4 or the external hard drive it will run smooth as well we will see an example okay so now we're going to run the game as you guys can see it runs well now keep in mind right now it is linking it to the external hard drive or USB now I'm going to take out the USB or external hard drive from the PlayStation 4 and I'm going to try to launch the game again you guys can see that I unplugged the USB from the PlayStation 4 before I launch it I'm going to show you guys the information the size says 11.16 megabytes from the internal memory of the PlayStation 4 because the rest of it was transferred to the USB now let's check our folder PS4 you guys can see that it catches all the game IDs from the PlayStation 4 but we only specified to transfer the spider-man one and you guys can see it that it's right there 8 gigabytes in size now if we select the other ones are empty even the PlayStation 2 game the Street Fighter the one I created on my previous video it captured it they're all empty though but the cool thing is that we have the ID information from the games now it gives you the information in regards to updates okay so now my USB is still in my PC 
and I'm going to try to launch the game. You just can see that it's not capturing anything because it transferred it to the USB or external hard drive. Now I'm going to plug it back in and then we're going to verify if the game works perfectly. So we select update later. There you go guys. Spider-Man it's running on our PlayStation 4. This is pretty cool. This is amazing. I'll probably get a 4 terabyte external hard drive so that I can transfer all my games in there and then just play them from my USB. Now keep in mind that if you have games that are higher in size then it will take a very long time to transfer it so you might need to leave it overnight so that all the games can transfer to the USB because this game took me like 10 minutes maybe so. Just make sure to back up all your packages just in case maybe in another external hard drive or something like that. So there you have it guys, the PlayStation 4 transferring games to the USB and launching them too, which is pretty cool. This is amazing. Developers, you guys are doing great things. Thank you so much for this. So guys, if this helped, remember to hit like, subscribe, comment, share with your friends. As always, Game of Rebirth, out.